Wait, you made it? He doesn't have an invitation to the club. Get him, boys! Oh, I don't? Check this out, I ain't got time for your shit. I'm coming for you. Rest, my friend. Don't bother moving. You've lost. Give him the pepper snuff. Time to knock this guy out. Don't cry. The snuff's ready. Fuck you, dude. No more crime for you until next month. I can overcome the brute now. Bitch. Too simple. I'm coming. It's all yours now. Go for it. <laughs> Don't bother. Give him the pepper snuff. You can overcome the brute now. How do you do? No more. The snuff's ready. <laughs> Take a rest, my friend. Useless. Not 
that easy. Trying to knock this guy out. Yes. No more crime for you, and give him the pepper snuff. All right, fella. I give up. Take me into custody. You have nothing on me anyway, so I'll walk out the station right after you do. I'm sure about that. Alright. Looks like those little birdies won't sing for a while, Sherry. Excellent job catching this crook, sir. His name is Lucky Jewel, and as it happens, someone with influence was after him too. You did them a favor. I just solved the mystery, officer. If a criminal appears in my path, it merely affirms my deductions are sound. Either way, you'll be pleased to know that an anonymous tip has fingered Lucky Jewel as being involved in the murder of a famous professor. We have photographs and witness statements. Not so Lucky Jewel is headed straight to the gallows. Someone served him to us on a silver platter. Interesting. Well, as a vital ally in the arrest of a wanted murderer, you couldn't possibly object to me interviewing him. Well, vital, y yes, I... No, of, of course. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Haven't you made my day bad enough? Get out! The police received an anonymous tip. Someone saw you entering Professor Jacob Haring's house. They have photos. You're in trouble. <laughs> I didn't even touch the old fool. This old business was a setup from the beginning. You broke into the house at the exact time Jacob Haring had his safe open and his collection of blackmail materials out. Perfect timing to steal the lot. Ah, <laughs> that's circumstantial at best. Alas, the professor turned out to be less feeble than you expected. He pulled a saber from the wall and nearly took your head off. But lo, the vigor evaporated and all at once he fell to the floor, grasping his chest as if his heart itself had given up. That's... that's exactly what happened. And that's why I'll be out of this reeking cell by morning, once the coroner has done his business. Mm, unlikely. You claim somebody set you up. If so, they will ensure that you're hanged. We both want to know who is truly behind this, so tell me the whole story. It may yet save your life. Oh, blast. All right, what do you want to know? Where are the documents? So you broke into Professor Haring's study and stole the blackmail materials. What did you do with them? Do you like jokes? My humor tends toward the dry and bitter. Then you will love this one. As I fled Haring's place with the documents, a pickpocket snatched the folder from me on the street. I was played from the beginning, beaten at my own game. They made a joke of me and the Robins, and now I await the gallows. Ha! Ha ha ha! Oh, you're right, it was a good joke. But now things begin to make sense. Haring's blackmail collection was hardly public knowledge. It stands to reason that whoever informed you of his existence must be who set you up. Yes, obviously. But I've never seen his face, nor do I know his name. I received a note at El Palazzo de Luso that gave me the address of Jacob Haring. It was signed with one letter, M. M. I cannot believe such an established gang leader would personally engage in burglary simply because he received a letter. It was not just a letter. I received something else with the note. A file. On me. And a bloody detailed one at that. 
I'm not sure if it was from Haring's own collection, but it contained things that could bury me and the entire damn Robins. I burned the file in a heartbeat, but the note warned of others like it in Haring's safe. I needed to retrieve them and got lucky. Lucky? Why? The note said that by being there at a very precise time, I'd find that safe opened. And it was right. I'll prove your innocence. I'll lead you to police. Hmm. Well. I don't know. <laughs> Still a criminal. But you didn't kill them, so. You should be jailed, but not killed for a murder you didn't commit. Fear not, Joe. I will prove you didn't kill Professor Haring. What? Then you better do it fast. Per his schedule, Professor Haring had tea with a guest not long before you arrived. The tea in Haring's teapot was dosed with digitalis. A large dose of such a drug, coupled with physical exertion, can cause cardiac arrest. So if the old man hadn't attacked me? He may have lived, yes. But it wasn't you who killed him. The real murderer is the one that poisoned the professor and set you up. I'll make sure the police know it. Yeah, you may save my bacon. Oh, I wouldn't sing a victory song just exactly. yet. Exactly, you're still going I to I believe jail. they're preparing for a conversation with you on many subjects. Like the Robins. Ha! <laughs> I can handle those fools. I thought you were the copper's pet. But you have character those bloodthirsty mongrels lack. I respect that. Make no mistake, Joe, we are not friends. Exactly. Should we meet again under different circumstances? Well, you know my character.